In the keyword generated tool, we have the ability to import additional information, specifically the search volume. Now we have two different options here. So you can see once you've got your keywords generated, you'll see this little button down here. You click search volume and you have the option to import free search volume data from two different sources. The first one is searchvolume.io by Storybase and of course the free Google Keyword Planner. Now with searchvolume.io, you're only allowed to do, I think, 800 keywords per day if you have a free account, if you use it for free. If you have a paid account, then you can do more. Of course, the Google Ads is probably the best one, the Google Keyword Planner, I mean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you with the Google Keyword Planner first here. And so the way that works is, right now we only have 271 keywords, where Google allows you to paste up to 2,500 keywords at a time. So you can actually select how many keywords you wanna grab per set, and it will just make the sets for you automatically. Now, given there's only 271 here, it's, it's only gonna do the first 271 because it's not more than 800 or more than 2,500. But let's say we had 3,000 keywords, it would make two sets. The first set would be, if you have it here, be 2,500, and the second set would be the remainder of the amount, so it'd be 500. So anyhow, let's just show you how it works. Once you got selected here, all you need to do is just select the copy button, and when you select the copy button, we have instructed the software to open the browser when clicking the copy button. So if you do that, it'll open up the browser and it will go directly to the keyword um, tool there. Sorry, there we go. Went directly to the keyword planner. I'm already logged in to my account, so it just automatically went there. Now I believe in order to get a Google Ads account or to use the Keyword Planner, you need a Google Ads account and you need a Gmail account. And I believe the only requirement to get access to this free tool is you have to enter in a credit card. But I believe um, you, know, you won't get charged or anything like that unless you actually use the Google Ads platform to um, generate paid traffic, then you have to pay. I think that's the only requirement, so you kind of need a credit card and you just got to enter it in here. Now I have to be honest, I, I set up my Google Ads account probably nearly 15 to 20 years ago. So I'm sure it's changed since then. And it might be a little bit different, but from what I can see on the internet is all you need to do is you can create an account if you have a Gmail account, a Gmail email, and then you can just enter your credit card. Anyhow, let's go ahead and click here, get search volumes. And all you have to do is right click and paste. These are all the keywords and go get started. And sometimes the keywords will show a little bit of an error. There might be some weird characters in it or something like that. All you have to do is just click remove those keywords. It's really straightforward. And they provide you that right in here. But anyhow, once you get to this part here, what you wanna do is you wanna click over here. Sorry, you wanna go to historical metrics right here. Click that. Then you wanna go over here and you wanna download the historical metrics for uh, the CSV, comma delimited file. So we're gonna go ahead and save that to our computer. And one cool thing you can do is I wanna save it somewhere, but I'd like to save it where my software resides. So I'm gonna go over here and there's a little button here that says open working folder. So I can do that. And at the same time that I click that button, it also copied that working folder directly to my computer clipboard. So now I can go back over to the browser. It's saying, where should I um, save this? I can just click in the address bar up here, right click and paste, and that's where I wanna save it. So hit the little button there. Let's go ahead and save it here. But it doesn't actually really matter where you save it. I just kinda like saving it where the Craft Inspector software is. In any case, once you have it saved, you just need to go to where you saved it, and then you just drop it right into here. And then go back to the software, and you'll see you have the monthly searches, the cost per click, and the competition, and now you can easily sort and see which one has the most searches. And you have to remember that this data is coming from Google. So these keywords were generated from Etsy, but this data is coming from Google. So it's not, this doesn't tell you how many times this was searched on Etsy, just on Google. But nevertheless, it still gives you an additional sort of insight into these keywords on which ones you can start targeting on your Etsy store or in your research in general. So, you know, if you think if there's 6,600 people uh, searching for this, or 6,600, sorry, 6,600 searches per month for this keyword, it's probably a good idea to use that, I guess not forged in, 
or forged of fire. Oh, you probably could use forged of fire somewhere in your tags, for example, if you do some sort of forged products on Etsy, or if you're just doing research for something else. So anyhow, that's how you get additional data. Now, if you use the search volume IO, you do not get the cost per click or the competition. They just provide you the monthly searches. So that's the limitation from that other source, but it's basically exactly the same. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Actually, I have another one open here. Let's try the other ones. Let's go search volume. Let's do the story base one. So it's right here. It's selected, copy, and I'll bring you straight over there. And it's verifying that I am not a bot. And I go right click and paste, submit. And you're allowed to do 800 searches per day, I believe. So again, let's download this. I'll download it in the same spot. And here it is, and we just go ahead and drop it in. And now we have the monthly searches from there. And you can see here as well that it actually correlated with Google that this is the top searched one. They're saying it's 1,200, 12,000 times per month. So a little bit different data coming from different sources, but this gives you additional insights onto your keyword research. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.